Alrighty folks, we are back from the big green shed and we are residing at the moment in the house of Walco, or as we call it in the shop, Pickville. So, recap, we've got two pieces of PVC pipe. They're one metre, about one metre long. You want something that will go in nicely. Now, you can get your PVC at any size you like, I find that this size is really good for when I go out crevicing because most of the time it's just areas where you can't get your scoop into. You can get a, a scraper in, a crevicing tool, scrape it all out and then suck it all out. With this, uh, we also bought a set of caps. Now all I wanted those for were to put into the end so that I've actually got a stopper there. It's not just tape over the end to stop stuff going up into it. This needs to be solid so that we can then wrap the tape around it and it acts as a, uh, a, a gasket-y type thing, I suppose, just so that it takes up the slop inside there. So we've got those. We've also got the Yeo Trusty 100 mile an hour tape or duct tape, and that's what we're going to use to help seal the unit up to make the uh, yabby pump. So anyway, we shall start on that. Simple job, I'm just gonna put that in there. I will get a bit of tape out, probably even, oh no, actually I'll do it this way. This is also a, uh, an exercise in awkwardness as well. And anyway, we will just cut that, beautiful. I've got that on there. All that is doing is keeping the little bung that we've put in the end there in place. Just making sure I haven't gone too oversized. It's not gonna take much tape to, uh, to do the seal. So what I'm now gonna do is just pull that out a bit, put that on there, and I am just going to keep winding. Now doing it this way, I've got a nice little bit of pressure. As I wind, that just keeps coming off. So it makes it nice and tight. I don't need to stretch or strain. And I actually nearly reckon that's gonna probably be enough. Carefully watching uh, fingers. There we go. Bring that around. Ho, ho, ho. Yep, beautiful. That will be tight enough. There we go. So that was actually all we needed. That is our seal now. We don't want it so tight that you just can't move it. it needs to have a little, uh, little, or just a mild piece of resistance, not a heap. Uh, water will get in there and lubricate it. But that is actually all we need for our yabby pump. Alrighty, so there we are. We've got our two pieces of pipe in together. We've got the end all uh, plugged up there, so that's all cool. I'd never, because the, we have so little uh, clearance in there, you don't need anything in the back to stop it moving around. This is just fine for this type of size. So all you would do is you've found your crevice in the creek, you've scratched it out as much as you can, you've now loosened everything off, you can grab this, put it in the crevice, suck it out, move it over, push it into your pan. Now, what I usually do is I'll have a classifier on top of the pan because if you suck off the bedrock there and splush it into the, the pan, if you don't have that classifier, it's just gonna blurt out everywhere. But if you have the classifier on top, it hits that, drops through, jobs are good. So anyway, there we are, our quick, homemade uh, yabby pump. Now I will say we did get this from the big green shed, but my suggestion is probably use your local hardware or plumbing supplies because they are like muscles. If you don't use them, you'll lose them. They're very convenient. Anyway, this is our yabby pump. And this is how to make it. I'm the Coffee Bush Kid, and this has been probably a quick tip for the Mind Lab Show.